All right, so once you get your PayPal business account set up, what you're gonna wanna do while you wait for your inventory to arrive, or maybe it's already here, um, is go in and get your items, your styles added to your um, PayPal so that when you invoice, I'll show you in a second here, you'll be able to um, invoice really easily and everything will be preloaded so you're not having to enter every single item in as you're invoicing. It makes it a lot, um, a lot quicker process. So there's two ways that you can enter new items uh, from the, the beginning, from the get-go. One of the ways is when you go in here to your tools and then invoicing, which you can actually create um, your favorites here. If you click on tools in the beginning, you'll be able to pick your favorites. My invoicing is always at the top here. You can go to invoicing, which will bring you to your invoicing page where you can manage them. And you can click on items here. This is going to be basically where all of your styles are listed and the price. You can go in and edit them here or add them. So if you choose to go in here, this actually takes a little bit longer, I think, to do it this way. Um, but I just wanted to show you both ways. You can click add new item. Type in the item name, which over here you can see is a door tunic I did. You can type in the item name. If you want to give a description, you can. I haven't. This will show up in the, um, I'll show you where this shows up in a, in a second here. And then you can do the price. I wouldn't do any tax because tax is um, different based on where you live and so many different things. So I would talk to a CPA and figure out um, how you do your taxes. But item name, description if you want, and then the price. And then you'll hit save and it'll pop up right here. The other way to do it is to actually go to an invoice. And I'll show you how to create an invoice too as we do this. So once you actually have somebody that wants to order something, you'll go in here to your PayPal. Square, I mean, this is PayPal. If you choose to use Square, I'm sure it's similar, but I don't use Square, so I can't teach on that. Um, click Create. It's pretty self-explanatory, but once you get in here, you'll scroll down, and you'll start with um, putting in their email. Once you put in their email, oh, I don't even know. We'll put in my fake, my personal email. The first time you enter somebody's information in their email, it's going to say add customer details. What I do is I click on here and you can do first name, me, me, me. <laughs> I'll do that. Um, first name and last name, that's usually all the information that I do. And then I hit save. So when you go to invoice them in the future, their information is already saved. So you can just type in their name and it'll pop up. So let me show you what that looks like. Katie is a normal name or a common name. So you can see all the Katie's that pop up. So then you would be able to just select a Katie. So that is how you start your invoice. Down here, you'll start typing in the items. So this is where I could type in a door, if I spell it right, a door. And all the adores will pop up. So then I would be able to select the size of the adore. And the price will already populate. And I can change the quantity if they got more than one. And I can go down here and I can add the next item. So let's say they got a cold shoulder. Cold shoulder will pop up. Extra large price already ready to go. So this is where then based on I can change the taxes per each individual that's ordering depending on. Down here you can add any discounts if you want or um, your, shipping, your shipping costs. So back when um, we were on that initial page of items where you could add items and it talked about the description, this is where that description would go. Underneath the door, any description that you put in there would pop up right here. So I don't do by color or anything. I just do by style and then size. So the other way to add um, new styles to your items history would be just to go in here to an invoice and actually type it in. So you could type in style, and then you could type in the price. And if you actually, I'll do a penny, <laughs> save item, it'll save in here. It says item saved to catalog. So now when I type in style, it'll pop up right here. So it'll automatically save when oh, it did save as a dollar. So if I were to go in now, and let's say that I want to change the price, on one of the styles, let's say the, because we have had a markdown now in the pullovers. The pullovers used to be 56, now they're 44. I'll show you how you can actually change the, 
price on an item if that were to ever happen. So I would just type in whatever it is that I wanted to change. Sorry for my dog barking. Um, and then I would change the two and it would say update item. And then you just hit update and it's saved to catalog. So now when I go in here to style, if it's spelt right, siddle, it's now two. So as far as like invoicing, that is how you'll invoice. You can delete over here if you want. You can customize these. So what I did the first time is you can add a photo here. So I put my logo here. Um, and then at the bottom, I filled out a note to recipient, which will show on um, their invoice at the top, and then the terms and conditions. So I have my return policy here. Um, I make sure that I have that in there. And then what you can do is you can go, oh, it's at the top here too, I see. Save as draft or save as template. So you can save it as a template, and then you'll be able to title it. And then every time you log in here to do an invoice, you can have it set as your default. So every time you come in here, this information is already in here ready to go so you don't have to add it every single time so that is how you add items and then that is also how you will send your first invoices once you send an invoice or once you're done filling out the invoice you can hit send up here and it will go back to that first screen that we were on it will show up right here right here okay and they'll all be listed. I just don't want to show all of my customer information. But if you want to cancel any, you would just click or um, remind. You can remind them. So you can do batch reminders if you just select them over here. There's batch actions that you can do, remind, cancel, or archive. Or individually, you can change information on here. You can remind them, edit, copy, record payment, print. PDF, share link. So if they didn't get it, this is an easy way where you can just share the link, copy it, and send it to them in an email or in a PM or whatever. Also, you can cancel it here. If they're not paying, um, it'll send a cancellation email. So that is how you do your PayPal. I think I got it all. Yep, how to enter items, how to send an invoice, and then customize your default templates. That was pretty much it. If you need to search somebody, you can either search by email or name to find somebody, or you can do um, unpaid by clicking on paid. So these are the ones that I use, unpaid and all. All right, good luck. Happy selling.